This tutorial is about the built-in dimension tool from Adobe Illustrator. I'm going step by step to create a result like this. So let's get started. First, we are going to the workspace and toolbar settings to make sure you can follow along with this tutorial. The artboard is set to Essentials Classic and the toolbar is set to Advanced. With these settings applied, you can find the dimension tool right here in the toolbar. Before we dive in the settings of the dimension tool, let's have a look on the parts of the tool. The vertical red lines are called the extension lines. In between the extension lines is the dimension line, which is the line with the arrows on it. And the dimension text is the text just above the dimension line. Now we have the offset of the dimension text, which is the space in between the text and the dimension line. The extension of the dimension line is the part of the extension line which runs from the dimension line to the end of the line. And the offset of the extension line is the area between the object and the extension line. Ok, so now that this is out of the way, let's open up the setting menu and see all the options we have to customize the appearance of the tool. To open the settings, click on the dimension tool and click on the gear icon. First thing we can change is the unit of the tool. Here you can choose if you want to measure in millimeters, pixels or inches, whatever you need. You can also change the scale if you need that and fill in how many decimals you want to be shown. Moving on, we can make changes to the dimension line. You can set the weight of the line, choose if you want it to be a dashed or a dotted line and change the color of the line. You can also make changes to the arrow style and the scale or the size of the arrow. Moving on to the extension line, we basically have the same options for the weight, dashed line or the color of the line and we can also make changes to the offset and the extension of the line. So you can use this image as a cheat sheet if you forgot what it is that you're editing in the settings or just play around until you're satisfied with the result. There also is an option to completely hide the extension lines. The last part we can change is the font settings of the dimension tool. You can choose the font family, the font size and the color. The position of the font can be set to above or underneath the dimension line. And can also be aligned to the left, center or right. Now we're moving on to the actual functionality of the dimension tool. First we select the linear dimension option. This option lets you plot the length of a line or the distance between two points. To measure from point to point, simply click point A to point B and then drag out the dimensions. The other option is to hover the mouse above the line you want to measure and drag out the dimension plot. Another great thing is that when you click and drag out the dimension plot, you also have the option to switch from vertical distance to horizontal distance or the align distance. Just move the position of the mouse to swap between all the available options. And to measure the full distance of the line of the hourglass shape, we measure from point A to point B and drag out the dimension plot. You can drag out the dimension plot as far as you need it to be. So a short recap, with the linear dimension option, we can get the line distance, measure from point A to point B, and get the horizontal or the vertical dimension. Measure from point A to B might also come in handy to measure the distance between objects. Next up is the angular dimension option. With the angular dimension option, we can select two lines and see the interior or the exterior angle of the shape or the crossing lines. To draw a straight line, you can hold down shift. And now when we drag out the dimension plot, you will see that it gives the angle of the two crossing lines. Using the same technique, you can also measure the angle of the closed shape. You can also measure the exterior of the angle by dragging the plot outside of the shape. Moving on to the final option of the dimension tool, which is the radial dimension option. When you move over to the line of the circle, you will see a pink guide appear. When you click on it, 
you can measure the radius of this circle. You can also click on it and drag it inward to get the full diameter of the circle. When you want to make last minute changes to the appearance of the dimension plot, you can just simply select the plot you want to edit and make your changes over here in the panel on top of the screen. So that's all you need to know about the dimension tool in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching and consider to subscribe if it helped you.